No need coronavirus quarantine bread. Why would you mention the coronavirus when you're talking about bread? Well, we're all on short supply, and I don't feel like going out to the grocery store again. So this bread only requires three cups of any kind of flour, one quarter teaspoon of yeast, any kind of yeast, and one teaspoon of salt. Okay, before we get started, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Okay, let's get started right now. We're going to make uh, no need bread. Basically, I have four cup or three cups, sorry, three cups of flour. I was going to call this Corona bread because we're in their little Corona epidemic. I have almost no yeast left. So I need a quarter teaspoon of yeast. Okay, so this is a quarter teaspoon. Not a lot. And we also need one teaspoon of salt. about that much so then we're going to give this a bit of a mix-up give that a little bit of a mix that's about it that's pretty mixed in there right mm -hmm. so we mix that up yeah, here so now I need some water one and a half cups one and a half cups of water and you don't want it to be hotter than 130 degrees so I'll set that guy in there I'm at 105 when I started it was almost 130 so it cooled down a little bit 109 close enough so I'm just gonna pour this right in cup and a half and I'm just going to take a regular spoon and I'm going to mix it in. Just hey Boogles, look at me. Tell Grandma you're making her bread. I'm making my bread for Grandma. Yay! We're also having a fashion show. Love McKenna. Not putting a lot of pressure. You can use a wooden spoon too. A lot of people prefer wooden spoons. Try to get all the excess off, you can. And it's a very sticky dough. And that's about it. Now we're gonna take some saran wrap, put it over top, and we're gonna let it sit for three hours. It can sit for four hours, it can sit for five hours. This isn't really a needy bread, like some breads you have to check and do certain timings on. This one, not so much. Seal it up nice, and it can just sit out on the counter, doesn't have to go any proofing oven or anything. And now we just wait three hours. Okay, now that we've let this guy sit for about three and a half hours, Open this guy up here. It's still quite sloshy. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a little bit more flour. Spread it on a little bit. I'm going to flour the area here. It says no. Okay. Okay, so now I have my spoon back here. Try 
try to convince it that it wants to come out. There we go. Sprinkle. This is a very little flower. I'm going to use a just a piece of plexiglass that I had in the garage. extremely sticky just roll it in onto itself don't have to do it this much just want it to be in a ball shape That's more than enough, but he really didn't need that. So now what I want is some parchment paper. So I'm just going to take a piece, it's way too big, but that's fine. Take a piece, set it in the center. Okay, now that we have our bread here all ready to go, all I'm going to do is clean my bowl out again. I'm gonna put it back in the bowl for a little bit. Just let it sit there. It'll rise up a little bit more. So now I'm gonna take my Dutch oven here and I'm going to put it in the oven. The oven's set to 450 degrees and I'm gonna preheat this Dutch oven and then I'm gonna put that bread inside and then I'm gonna put the lid on top and then stick it inside the oven. So I'm going to go and preheat this and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now I've preheated the oven with the Dutch oven in it. Put on me gloves. Because this guy's gonna be hot. This is a granite countertop so I can put the top or the pot right onto this. Oh. Yeah, that guy's warm. our lid off of there. I don't want to touch that pot at all. At all for any reason. Because it is hot. Put that guy in there. Now it's going to steam. Now I have the oven preheated to 450. And I'm going to put it in the oven for 30 minutes. Set the timer, and I'll see you guys back in 30 minutes. Okay, now this thing's been in the oven for 30 minutes. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. Oh, and that looks pretty sweet, and it's incredibly hot. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove... Remove that guy. So I'm basically going to take the bread... I'm going to put it back in, uncovered, for another 10, depends on how, how crunchy you want the outside to be. So between, uh, let's say, 15 and 20 minutes, or 10, 15 minutes, something like that. So that's what we got there. Looks pretty sweet. In the oven you go for another 15 minutes-ish. Set the timer. And I will see you back in 15 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. It's only been nine minutes, but uh, I don't wanna burn the bottom. So I'm gonna pull it out and take a look and see what we got here. So, oh, look at that. That looks awesome. 
Okay, let's turn the stove off there. And I do not, do not, do not want to touch this bad boy at all. Gonna get one of my racks ready here. cool down a bit let this guy cool down for a couple of minutes and then I'll come back and I'll cut it and we'll see what it looks like on the inside it looks yummy okay I think this guy's cooled down enough I can handle it oh yeah that's fine so what I'm gonna do is switch over from my little rack here to here I'll let it cool for about two or three minutes got a knife here I don't want to cut it in the center Look. listen listen That sounds sweet. Oh, it's still hot. Oh, she's steamy and nice and fluffy on the inside. That is. Mm, that is awesome. A little hot still, but. That's some good. This bread is as awesome as I said it is. You really, truly need to try this. Okay, well, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free. It'll help me out. All you have to do is click on the icon on my face, and I'll do the rest. Thanks for watching the video. Enjoy. Have a great night.